new CCTV footage of the bride who was tragically killed on her wedding day as she was in her golf cart and the drunk driver that rammed into her golf cart. Let's get into some updates on the tragic case in Folly Beach, South Carolina. Hi everyone, Empowering True Crime Alex here. And normally I wouldn't cover this type of story, but I was in Folly Beach a few months ago on vacation at the same spot where this happened on the beach side. And it's just such, it's such a small little, little beach town, very quiet. You know, the roads are very narrow. There's actually 25 mile per hour speed limit. The person who was allegedly drunk was going supposedly 65 miles per hour. So I recently posted about her obituary and I'll put a link here as well as the vigil that was held in her honor a few a couple weeks ago. So I'll post that here as well. And also the uh, the CCTV, CCTV footage that was shared uh, from a house that was in the area that caught the cars speeding by because it's a one, there's like a, they're really small, narrow roads. I've, I've actually driven in that area, really small, narrow roads. And so basically everyone's going on the same road. So I'll share that. I actually have it in the larger. So here it is larger. Let me go ahead and share. This was from the Daily Mail and it's an exclusive that they were able to get. So Samantha Miller and Erica to drive a golf cart to, they were staying at an Airbnb. So this is them in the golf cart. And you see there's four people. It's hard to see, but there's four people in there. Then Jamie Lee Komorowski, who's a driver, drives 65 miles per hour in a 25 mile per hour zone. Emergency vehicles race to the scene. And this is the ambulance leaving the crash scene. <sighs> so there it was, that piece. And just heartbreaking to see. Now, I shared a part of this story, an interview on GMA, Good Morning America, of, the, of Eric Hutchinson, the husband, but I wanted to share another part of this. Let's see if we can listen to this together. Justice, Eva Pilgrim is here with the exclusive interview. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, George. Eric Hutchinson says he and his wife, Sam, were excited to get married, already planning to start trying to have kids and buy a home. Instead, now he's planning her funeral. Now speaking exclusively to ABC News in his first interview since losing his wife, Sam, the unimaginable tragedy on their wedding night three weeks ago an allegedly drunk driver crashing into them as they left their reception. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Um, that night going from an all-time high to an all-time low, it's pretty rough to try to comprehend. The night of the wedding, what are your favorite parts of it? Having family. We had family, friends from all over the country, everywhere there. And everyone was just so happy. She was so happy. One of the best nights of your life. It was. It was. The newlyweds set off by their guests through a wave of sparklers, jumping in a golf cart with family, but they never made it home. Do you remember the crash happening at all? I don't. I wish I did. I do remember the last thing I remember her saying was, she wanted the night to never end. That was the last thing she said to you? <laughs> Just down the road from their reception, their golf cart hit by a car. Hutchinson, his brother-in-law, Benjamin, and nephew Brogan were rushed to the hospital. Sam died at the scene. I remember waking up just kind of foggy out of sorts and I could see my mom's face and you could just tell something was wrong and I asked her where's Sam where's Sam and then that's when she told me it's an incident and that 
that sound didn't make it. Investigators say the driver of the vehicle, 25-year-old Jamie Lee Komorowski, was driving 65 miles per hour in a 25 zone at the time of the crash. According to the toxicology report, her blood alcohol level was more than three times the legal limit. She's been charged with DUI and reckless homicide. On Wednesday, Hutchinson filing a wrongful death lawsuit against Komorowski and several local bars and restaurants where she allegedly drank the night of the crash. Her employer and supervisor also sued, accused of pressuring her to attend a function and consume excessive amounts of alcoholic beverages that night. Her employer saying in a statement, there was no officially organized employee function around drinking and Komorowski had just started training for the job. This is a case about protecting communities from drunk driving. And when someone is served in excess and then allowed to leave and get in the car um, is not responsible. And uh, they'll have to be. That area, you know, just from being there on vacation, it was kind of known for like being a party area. You know, definitely. It's a beach town. It's a vacation spot. Accountable for that. For now, Hutchinson is taking it day by day, focusing in part on his recovery while trying to hold on to his happy memories with Sam and the things that remind him of her. Back home in the third floor apartment the two shared, he says he still feels her presence. Is it hard to be back here? It's hard, but it's also nice. Like you can just... It's got Sam written all over the house. So it's nice to be here and have good memories. Also, during the vigil, he said the same thing. He said, it's got Sam written all over it, you know? So he definitely, I mean, it's beautiful to see him feeling the presence of of Sam. That That's touching to hear that. And Eric has two broken legs, broken bones in his face and back, among other injuries. He's had multiple surgeries already, but he told me he agreed to do this interview because he wanted the world to know the Sam that he fell in love with. So like it said in the report, there is um, Eric Hutchinson, the groom, is suing the uh, the bars that she attended that day that I guess he's saying kept on serving her and she would be visibly um, inebriated as well as her employer. So the documents obtained by the outlet allege that Komorowski, a former taco eatery waitress, began her booze-filled day of bar hopping at El Gallo Bar and Grill near Daniel Island. She's then reported to have driven to the Folly Beach area where she stopped in at least three more establishments that continued to serve her even though she was noticeably and visibly intoxicated, the suit claims. The three other locales named in the lawsuit are Snapper Jacks, the Crab Shack, and the Drop-In. By the end of the night, the suit states, Kamarowski was nearly unconscious behind the wheel. When she allegedly rear-ended the newlyweds on Ashley Avenue, Kamarowski was hurtling at 65 miles per hour in a 25 mile per hour speed zone. Previous reports said the impact sent the golf cart flying 100 yards before it finally stopped, rolled to a stop. I mean, that is crazy. That's a football field. In addition to Samantha's wrongful death, the filing is an injury suit on behalf of Eric and two relatives, including a minor, who were also riding in the golf cart and suffered terrible and permanent injuries. Komorowski, who's originally from New Jersey, has been charged with three felony DUIs resulting in great bodily harm or injury and one count of reckless homicide. Okay, so I don't want to share too much more about her. So again, just a tragic, tragic moment. Um, normally, I don't cover cases like this, but um, because I'd been there recently with my own dog on the beach, you know, I felt uh, a connection there. Really tragic that that happened. Such a beautiful place, beautiful place for a wedding. And then, of course, this tragedy struck just hours after uh, Sam and Eric got married. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, I'd appreciate if you hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'm really close to a thousand subs. So I really appreciate that you get me over the edge. <laughs> and um, with that, remember to follow your intuition, keep it empowering, stay safe and stay thriving. Bye for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications. Thank you.